So now I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix this water damage that I've got just up here. Just above here is a roof terrace and uh, there's like a, a doorway there. I'll show you the building next door. You see that? So that's the roof terrace there and then there's another flat up there. So that's the one that we're in at the moment, but obviously over here. Now what had happened, it kept on leaking. They kept on bodging the repair. This is many months later what had happened. I had to take down the light fitting. This ceiling rose had come loose as well. So I'd removed that. The water it was tracking through here and then it was getting further and further and further. And you can see, you might be able to see there's uh, hairline cracks. There's one there and there's one that's going this way. Um, it also started tracking across here and then you see that water stain there that got all the uh, like salts with furriness. A crack went across there and a crack went across there. Now to stop that getting worse and tracking across even further, I actually took out a, a big hole up here. Um, I might have a picture of that. I'll flash it up and you can see where, hopefully I've, I've got a picture where it was leaking itself as well. Since then, uh, it doesn't appear to have leaked too much more in the most recent months. This has been going on for like seven months now. That's probably that never buy a flat with a management company because this it's just not been fixed yet. They're going to do a replacement door up top and a replacement roof, but all of the leaseholders, they all need to agree and they, they need to get several quotes and then obviously the tradesmen are taking forever to do anything. It looks like this might be okay. Um, obviously at the moment we're losing money so it just needs to be fixed. So I, I was here the other week, I started filling that, I filled it a little bit more and uh, now we're just gonna crack it out. So the filler that I've used is the Two Prey Quick Dry Filler, this is TX. 110. For the water stain that I've got, uh, I'm going to go with a Zinsa cover stain and then following that I've gone for what I'm, I have to repaint the whole ceiling. So that's an, I've gone Ticarilla Anti Reflex White 2. So this is supposed to be really good for um, like hiding imperfections. So obviously that's a big bay window and loads of light comes this way. So I should be, in theory, once I've sorted this out, I will uh, paint it in this direction. I've stacked this back up with some hybrid adhesive sealant. I still need to cork it around the edge, but I've done a little bit more filler just around here and around there. Um, I raked out the cracks, not too much. It looks like that sunk a little bit. Uh, so I've done that. Obviously I've put a load in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand it down first. I'm gonna use my herb hour, a circular sander. Um, I didn't bring my transformer, so I can't use my Hilti Hoover, but I have got the Titan one. Lucky enough, my Hilti Hoover hose fits on this. So I'm gonna sand it now and then we'll see where we are, see where I need to do any, any filling. Looks like I need to do a little bit more filling. I didn't realize this before. I don't know whether you'd be able to see it, but there's like paint missing where it went all fairy with the salt crystals around here. So I need to do that again, a little bit there. Uh, the bit that I filled before, obviously there's air bubbles in that, so I need to fill that again. And a couple other bits that I missed with the cracks that I've raked out. I don't think we're going to get this 100% bang on at the end of the day. It's an old building, so there's going to be certain cracks here and there. It's a shame because this, this ceiling was quite nice beforehand. It's nice and flat. Uh, the plaster actually done a good job on this. Whilst I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm just uh, wiping this down. Look at the state of that. 
Jesus Christ. So Lou, Lou used to put candles on top of it. And this, this is what happens. Look, on this, look. That's just mental. <laughs> Finished off my filling. I think that's pretty much good enough. I think it's not perfect, but there we go. This uh, cover stain, it's oil based. I haven't used it for a while, so I need to mix it up. I need to get some mixing sticks or make them at least anyway. So this cover stain is good for wood. or a, You can paint it on anything pretty much. Uh, you can use it for tannins or sap. Uh, it's also good for uh, smoke stains as well. So I think we best put it on the um, above the fireplace as well. And what I should have done is got some paint strainers because <laughs> there's loads of bits in it. Should I just roll it on and see what happens? Jesus Christ, there's loads of them. I thought I scraped any loose paint off before. <laughs> it's come off there and stuck on there. Jesus Christ. What is happening? Okay, that, that was a disaster. And <laughs> that'll be your lessons here. Right, I've stopped. I've, I've given up. Um, the cover stain, there's just too many bits in it. And when I'm rolling it, it's just peeling off the uh, paint that is still a little bit uh, loose. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go and get some more cover stain. I'm getting the spray this time uh, and then I'll just spray it. So I'm going to leave that for now. I'll have to come back to it tomorrow. It's recoatable in two hours, touch dryer in half an hour or something. But I need to sand that and feel that bit where the paint's come out. And we'll, we'll reattempt it tomorrow. Uh, quickly now, I'm going to paint the bathroom. Uh, I've got different paint for that. I use the acrylic durable mat from Johnstones. See you tomorrow. It's a couple of days later, uh, Thursday in fact, and I don't have a video for tonight, so this will be the video, hopefully. I need to crack this out. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon. I couldn't do it yesterday because I had to wait for the spray cover stain. I've got two of these. Apparently they do two meters squared each. I've got two just in case because I'm doing above the fireplace for the soot on there. Yesterday I was sorting out the bay window because that was all cracked and needed filling uh, like around there. I've got some fancy paint for that as well. So I, I think I might do another video because it's super quick drying satin wood, which I've never seen. We'll test it out, see if it's any good. This, I have filled it more. I just need to sand it down quickly. Right, that is sanded. I actually used a 240 disc on that last bit just there. Uh, I didn't have any 120 discs. I reckon 180 might be good for that kind of thing. I've caught in this around here. It's a bit of a weird color actually, because I used the adhesive sealant instead of cork. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna spray that, because it can take paint. This is solvent based as opposed to the stuff in the can that is oil based, but apparently it's the same stuff. Well, they call it the same stuff. Uh, the drawback with this, you're not going to get the finish, like it's going to be flat, I think, anyway. But uh, when I roll it, I'm, obviously I'm going to roll a whole lot, I'll be able to get the texture finishing so it will match. Otherwise, if you had to sand something back, you wouldn't necessarily get the this wouldn't be the best option if you was just spraying it quickly. It might match into the existing what's on the ceiling. All right, should we go? Stop waffling.
I've covered the floor. People, I've seen them say that it causes quite a lot of um, overspray, but I, I don't think that's the case. You might open the window. So that's what it looks like at the moment. That's kind of flashing with uh, with the filler. Um, we'll leave it to dry, we'll see what happens. I'm not sure that outer ring there is properly filled, like it's not proper flat, but that's the whole point why I got the anti-reflex paint. Apparently that might hide it. <laughs> we will see. I'm gonna pop this mask on. What is it class has? This, this is the only mask that I got with me. I wasn't intending to do this. Uh, you would need a A2 mask for this, really. Um, it depends how much you're doing. If you're doing a lot, like I, I just done that, it did get a bit solvent heavy in the room. But I've opened the windows now. I'll spray this and then uh, I'm gonna put it on the windowsill as well. I'll show you in a second. Okay, I have done that. It's a bit light. Uh, I might go over it again. I have used up one can, so two meters squared. I'd say that's pretty accurate. This stuff, though, is a high adhesion primer as well. Um, so when I've repaired the windowsill, the, the wood is showing through. Okay, I'm ready. Is, can you notice it echoey now? Uh, I've moved everything out, I've sheeted it down. Uh, this floor needs refinishing in an ideal world. It is solid oak, but it is a bit, um, it's like shabby chic in it, so it kind of matches that it's worn. <laughs> uh, let me show you how it's dried. So there we go. Uh, I mean, at the moment, it looks pretty bloody good. So I would imagine once I've got the anti-reflex paint on, uh, it'll be awesome. I wish I brought my paddle. Right, I'm gonna mix that up. Apparently it doesn't need watering down at all. I'm going in a big kettle. I've got a 12 inch pole roller. Uh, I've got glasses, so it doesn't go in the eye, even though it says that it's one of them, what is it? doesn't drip or splatter, whatever. Uh, I've got this to do my uh, cutting in. Look, I just realized this, I didn't read that there. Can you see the paintbrush, look? Oh, can you? Look, this is magnet there. <laughs> I've got a mini roller just in case it's not um, rolling out right. This is a Harris trade. Uh, I think they're all right. I want to try some arrow worthies. I use a Harris medium pile. Uh, that finishes it really nice. It's, it's got slight texture, not much. It's four o'clock. <laughs> uh, I normally release it at six o'clock, so I assume this might take me an hour. And then I've got an hour to edit, or less than an hour to edit maybe like 40 minutes. That will be like one of the quickest edits that I've ever done. <laughs> so, and then I'll have 20 minutes. Oh no, oh, I haven't got, I haven't got broadband. Uh, my upload's gonna take a while. It might take an hour, shit. Right, I might make it for seven, we'll see. First impressions. Uh, doesn't look like it needs mixing up much. Not at all really. Okay, action plan is, um, it does seem quite watery. I'm just gonna paint the actual ceiling itself. Yeah, and then, uh, so I'm just cutting in next to the clothing. And then once I've done that, I can roll out the actual ceiling and then I can start editing get everything ready 
and then uh, I'll do the coven by hand afterwards. Um, I say by hand, obviously I'm doing everything by hand, but you know what I mean, by paintbrush. Um, I mean, because I've emptied everything and because I'm painting the walls, I could have just sprayed this. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> yeah, seems nice. Tell you what, this is brilliant because you can hold on to it there. You have your paintbrush, dip it in, cut in, slap it there. This roller, it's got knobbly bits there. Do that. Whack it in. Yeah. Fluff. I haven't even got time to put the tape on this. Right. I'm running late. Maybe this will be an eight o'clock release. So the thing is, I need to do it because even though like YouTube, they go, oh yeah, if you have a break from uploading, then it, does, uh, it doesn't make a difference. It does make a fucking difference because people get into a habit of like watching on like a Thursday, for example. And as soon as you don't upload, they develop a new habit where they watch someone else and then you've lost, and then the algorithm just doesn't show them your videos anymore, just because they didn't watch it one week. <laughs> All the struggles. All right, let's see how this goes. But uh, that smooths out nice. I mean, it's a combination of this roller as well. I know that this roller doesn't leave track um, lines. Should I start on one side instead of the middle? <laughs> uh, yeah, I should have done, shouldn't I? I keep a wet mark. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this quickly. I'll see you at the end whilst I, when I'm done. Just a mid update, uh, I've done just over half of the room, so I'm, I'm here. I don't know whether you can see that. Uh, at the moment, it's almost like it's flashing, but it's still wet, so I would imagine the bits where I've done, it's just taken a little bit longer to dry where, um, where I've done the cover stain and I can see a band across there where I've done that section and then I've went across. Well, I'm thinking that'll probably dry out. That's it so far. Okay, it's half past five and um, have I got a white nose? Or is that just the light? <laughs> it doesn't splatter that much. I can tell by the little spatters on my glasses. I've had stuff that's a lot worse than that in the past. Um, right, I've done the full ceiling. I still need to do the coving, but like I said, I'm not doing that just yet. That is flashing at the moment. I mean, you can clearly see that. So, what is going to happen? So we just had a new boiler fitted and this is the new thermostat. That is 24 and a half degrees. I'm sweating like you wouldn't believe, I've got my jeans on. I haven't brought my shorts, so I haven't got any clothes here. <laughs> right. um, we're gonna let it dry. I'm gonna start editing. Hopefully in another hour, that might be dry properly. Um, it, it's only sp supposed to take half an hour to dry, allegedly. That's what it says on the thing anyway. Don't know whether that's re-coat re time. Um, yeah, we'll see. I might have to do another coat on that bit. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully I won't. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, it's seven o'clock. I haven't got time to, I've, I've edited quickly. I haven't got time to watch it through again. You're just gonna have to deal with it, all right? <laughs> um, it's dried, almost, almost. So yeah, I don't know whether you can make out this, this a couple of little bits. 
it kind of looks okay. I could possibly just leave it. I can still see the bit that I sanded across here. I can still see the band where I've effectively done two coats, if you understand. So obviously I've done the first row up here and then the second one up there. You probably can't see it on camera. I can see a band across there. So it's had more paint there. So if I wanted to get it bang on, I should really do a second coat. I probably will do a second coat. Definitely here, you see where I've sanded it? Uh, there's a texture difference. So I can see where the issues previously were. So I think what I'm gonna do is I will get the mini roller. I'll just go over the bits where I sanded to get a little bit more texture. I'll do that in say an hour once I've done the coving. And then um, I need to do the roses as well. And then I think tomorrow I'm gonna to do a whole coat all again. And then it'll be perfect. But yeah, it worked out well. So the T Corilla paint, anti-reflex white, thumbs up from me. Uh, cover stain, ugh, a little bit. I was good, but it's, uh, it gave me a little bit of a difficulty, didn't it? But I reckon it'll be fine. I, it should, I shouldn't be trying to get this perfect, really, should I? But oh, I just like to do them kind of things. Right, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, give me a thumbs up. Uh, I'll see you later.